Hey folks, thanks for tuning in. This video, I'm going to talk about how we got those 20 foot rafters up. Stay tuned. Thanks everyone for tuning in. My name is Jeff Arizona Hot Homestead. And in this video, I'm just going to show you a little brief um, thing that we did to help get these 20 foot 2x10s up in the air. Uh, and because uh, my room basically, and the, the roof dimensions will be 20 feet by 40 feet. And so I'm using, and it's pretty much a flat roof over the, the, the 36 feet distance it's only a seven inch drop so it's pretty flat uh, but and so I went with two by tens to do the the uh, span of 16 feet and then it hangs over another four on the side and and then I went with that two by ten just because it may help out a little bit with it being a uh, a, a low pitch roof so but let me show you how we put these these suckers up huh so what we used was on my header, and this header, just so you guys kind of know, I've got wooden posts or wooden legs, basically, is what I've been calling them, and they they go up to a Versa tube. Let me show you on the other side here. See, I have this Versa tube, and normally you'd have a metal post all the way through, but I come down and I cut it. And I put a 4x4 on there with a 4x4 post. Now, I did have to do some work because I used a 2x10. So from the back side, I added a couple of 2x4s on the top there. I put another one on the bottom. I literally drilled a hole all the way through. I put a, a all thread. I think that's 5 16 all thread all the way through. And then put a, a bolt down on this end with a big washer. And then and a lock washer did the same thing up on top. And when I bought these, they were two feet long, and this one here is like one foot. The bottom half, it looks like it's kind of burnt a little. That's because of the grinder I used. But that was fine because obviously you put the bolts on first before you punch it through the, uh, the hole I drilled. Plywood it's sticking out there. That's just the way that my roof ended up. Nothing is straight here on the homestead. To make it straight on the... Uh, the 2x10 rafters, this is just how it worked out. I'll come back later and I'll just trim that off so it'll look good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another 2x10 up here just to help seal this and then put some flashing all the way around so it doesn't leak. But that's how I did the header. And then we just nailed gunned it right in to the uh, 2x4s and the 4x4. Then I used some these these hangers here were 2x8s actually, but they work perfect for the 2x10s. I used a double on this end here. These are 16 on centers. And I went with a CDX plywood. I believe that was supposed to be 1932nd, or yeah, 1932nd. And then on the other end, these type of hurricane straps. I went with this type kind of f for the main reason get a lot of surface down below to attach to the uh, 2x4s and then up above the way that this fans out a little bit gives you some added strength for this keeping this guy here from twisting plus you'll see that there's still a couple of nail holes in here that when I go to put another 2x10 brace in here then that gives me something to nail to. So I, I like that idea a lot. I like these. They're a lot more expensive than those little twist uh, Samson ties. This is Samson ties too, I believe. But these are just a whole lot stronger. Cost a lot more. They didn't have anything for the for the doubles. I call it doubles when I took two 2x10s two and put them together like that. Now the reason why I did that, I did that every four feet, was so that when the plywood would hit, the plywood would all hit on one side of the the two by ten, and then the other one would hit this two by ten, because the plywood is, I mean the 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 two by ten is is only an inch and a half in thickness there in width, 
So that means if I only went with one, I'd be taking an inch and a half and trying to split two pieces of plywood on there. I like the idea of all of the plywood being on the inch and a half. To me, it just makes it a lot more sturdier, especially if I'm walking on it. Plus, there's less opportunity to miss a nail when I'm trying to nail it. And then down here at the end, it worked out perfectly that the 2x10, the double 2x10 is resting right on the wall there. Now over here where I've got my barn, I started taking off my roofing on the barn here on this one piece and I took my 2 by 10 and just butted it up against there. I probably should have maybe cut it at an angle so it went up there a little bit better. Um, let's see if we can get to the other side. See, I have some of the nails poked through when we were putting the uh, brackets on. But that would have been nicer if that would have been all the way. But it's not good now. And then I put this 2x10 pretty close to the, uh, the actual barn here, the barn roof. I put it really as close as I could and still be able to nail this, uh, that hanger on. I probably could have got it closer, but if I did, I'd have trouble with the hanger. Now, if you also notice, there is more space right here than there is down there. Reason being is because this barn when it was brought in isn't completely at a right angle to everything. And when that Versa tube was put in, we tried our best to put it at a right angle of the barn, but it didn't work out very well either. So Nothing's at a right angle here. So it really isn't attached to the barn at all. I do have a couple of nails that I, I threw in there up on top, but I'm sure those are kind of worthless. So to get a closer look at the tool that we made to uh, pull up these rafters, we have basically a 2x4 that we came up and attached another couple strap pieces, so scrap pieces, and then cut out a little bit of a notch in here a little, to open this up a little bit so that it was a little bit wider so that it would literally fit. So they will literally fit on the 2 by. So when you're going to raise up a 2 by 10 you've got this that would fit up in there and that could help hold it so you can lift it up higher than you could reach. Because we only had a couple of ladders to work with and so this tool was actually fantastic because it was taken, what was it, two, four of us to put up these 2 by 10s and I got a little clip of us doing it and I'll show it right now using this tool here and let me tell you so glad someone thought of this Action. Trusses, roof rafters, this is Sir Mike
So overall, I used 38 2x10s, 20 feet long up there. And then, uh, and then I put them additional ones up on the header and then also on the facial board there. And again, the roof size, when it's completed, will be 20 feet by 40 feet. So that's 800 square feet. So the object is an inch of rain will get me, what, a thousand square feet will get me 600 gallons. So you figure what's that? Maybe a quarter percent less or so, 20%. Less of 600, was that 500 and some gallons? So I should get 500 and some gallons off of that roof there. So thanks for tuning in. Check out the other ones. That was just putting up the, uh, the rafters. And uh, I'll show you some more of what I've done uh, with each of the videos. Gotta subscribe if you haven't. Catch all the action here on the homestead as I try to build from raw land a self-sufficient off-grid place to live. And I'm calling it Arizona Hot Homestead. See ya by have fun. <laughs>